The Super Rugby playoffs have been confirmed after round 17 this weekend and Henrik Stenson became the first male Swede to win a major championship at Royal Troon this weekend. To discuss these results, I'm joined in studio by Sport24 editor Garen Lamley and Chief Writer Rob Hine. Good morning, gentlemen. Thank you very much for coming in. Morning, Hi, Nick. Nick. So we are down to the final eight, Rob. I'm going to start with you. Uh, just to confirm the quarterfinals for the upcoming weekend, we've got on Friday the Brumbies versus the Highlanders, and then on Saturday the Hurricanes versus the Sharks, the Lions host the Crusaders, and then finally the Stormers against the Chiefs. Now, do you think, uh, all things considered, new format, etc., that uh, that was a fair, this is a fair outcome? Um, I suppose to letter of the law, no, um, because you've got a team like the Brumbies who finished some way down the overall standings um, and, and frankly haven't really looked in the last few weeks as though they genuinely have the sort of the ability or the hunger to go all the way to the title. So there are going to be a few miffed uh, rugby fans in New Zealand especially. I don't think in, uh, on these shores you're going to find too many people grumbling too much. Uh, you know, we've got our three South African qualifiers, three as we all thought down. anyway, uh, because of the, the way that the format had been fiddled, if you like, <laughs> to make sure that we, we do have uh, three, three sides go through. Obviously, the Sunwolves and the Jaguars were, were, not, were not factors, so that helped the, in, the, in the African conferences, if you like, for South African teams to, to sort of, uh, you know, to rise, to, like, the, you know, the cream to the, to the surface kind of thing. The big, the big question now, of course, is just how prepped will those South African teams be for the big onslaught of, of three New Zealand sides uh, this weekend? I mean, it's an epic Saturday mm -hmm. of sort of, uh, you know, bilateral rugby. Uh, I think it will provide quite a few nice pointers for the rugby championship, by the way, as well, of course, because that's just around the corner after, after Super Rugby. And uh, finally, we get some, some sort of proper real deal uh, rugby between South African and New Zealand sides. Um, and I, I've seen a few uh, hints in New Zealand that the, uh, New Zealand pundits are fancying uh, uh, Kiwi wins in all three games, mm. um, which is uh, fairly realistic perhaps. You know, maybe on these shores as well, there'll be people who believe that uh, it's, we're going to do well to get to sneak one side through. Um, but uh, let's wait and see. You know, uh, I think we, we, we've got some potentially good, good rugby in prospect. That's one mm. thing. I think the games are, are nice, are nice matchups, generally speaking. And a pity the Lions sort of relinquished a potential home final with that result against the Jaguars. And I also wanted to touch on that uh, Hurricanes Crusaders result also kind of threw, threw things sort of quite open in terms of the, the playoffs. Yes, the uh, Crusaders I think will be a team smarting, which makes things <laughs> even that much more difficult for the Lions uh, uh, at Emirates Airline Park this weekend because uh, Crusaders I thought were, were disappointingly sloppy. Their defensive structure just seemed to go to sleep. Mm -hmm. Um, at times during that game, and they were given a real, a real thumping. So uh, I think there'll be a few sort of burning ears um, as they prepare, you know, for that long haul uh, across here. Um, but the high felt doesn't scare them. Um, they've beaten the Lions already um, in Johannesburg uh, this season in, in a thrilling, uh, very entertaining game. Uh, interesting to see if that gets emulated in a sort of quarterfinal environment, which, which is less likely, I would think. Um, but, uh, you know, returning to that Jaguaris game, um, you, you do start to get the feeling that the Lions erred with that second string uh, mm. because they just were one, one log point shy of finishing top of the table. And now they've got a potentially very tough route uh, through the knockouts. Um, so I'm not so sure that, that, that they're that they've really boxed that clever. Um, I suppose, we, as I said at the weekend, I think we should perhaps reserve judgment and just wait and see how they go in the playoffs. And if they do uh, make a sort of, you know, uh, storming march through to the, the semi-finals, perhaps even the final, um, although it's now perhaps likely to be away uh, uh, abroad for them. Um, but uh, I think a, a few Lions fans will be secretly ruining the fact that they, they finished, uh, you know, it was 34-22 uh, in Buenos Aires. If they just scored one more try with that second string outfit of theirs, they would have got the, the losing bonus point and would have finished top of the log. Um, so it was a huge sacrifice to have made and uh, uh, history will tell whether it was the right one. I, I have my doubts uh, at this stage of the week, I really do.